Hey everyone, Jonathan here from Unity Game Programming for Beginners, Wild Cockatiel Games. And in this video, I want to talk about what a null reference exception error is and how to fix it. I get this question all the time, so let's cover this once and for all. So in layman's terms, a null reference exception means Unity is trying to access a variable that hasn't been referenced to or it hasn't been assigned. Now, what, what exactly does that mean? Well, let's go over to PowerPoint and take a closer look. Okay, so in creating a variable, there's basically three steps. Number one, you're going to declare the variable. Number two, you're going to assign a value to it. And number three, you're going to use that variable, variable in some capacity. Well, a no reference exception error occurs when you skip step number two. You declare a variable and then you try to use it, but you haven't actually given it any sort of value. So, in other words, a no reference exception happens because you are skipping the second step of assigning it, and Unity is now trying to use that variable, and it's going, hey, what's up? This va variable has absolutely no value. It doesn't mean anything to me. So let's go back into the game I have there and take a look at this error and how we can fix it. Okay, so if we have this very simple game here, if we press count up, it should make the numbers go up. If we press count down, it should make the numbers go down. And if we press double, it should make the numbers double. But it's not doing any of that. And of course, we're getting a null reference exception error three times, once for each button press. And you can see it stacks up here for each time I press the button. So if we double click on this, it will take us into mono develop, and it will show us the exact line of code that's giving us the problem. And in this case, it's this my text dot text equals value to string. Well, we declare the variable up here. This is step number one. All right, that's step number one, declare. And here we go, step number three, use the variable. But there is no step number two. And if we go back into Unity, we can see over here that indeed on the right-hand side of the screen, my text in the count manager is empty. So if we just drag this game text onto here and try to run it again, now, if we press count up, the values go up. If we press count down, it goes down. And if we press double, the values double. So not very exciting, but it works. Now, how about this toggle music button? Let's press that and see what happens. Oh, no, it's throwing the same no reference exception error again, two times. So again, let's uh, double click this and go into Unity and see where it's happening. So this time, it's in reference to the audio source dot play. So again, here we are. Step number three is we are trying to use it. Step number one would, of course, be up here where we've declared it. Declared the variable. But there is no step number two. So if we go back into the inspector for the music manager, we can see, oh, there is nowhere to declare it up here. So that's another problem. Well, how can we, how can we drag it in? How can we drag an audio clip in if we haven't done anything? So if we go back into mono develop, this time we're just going to get that reference through code. And under awake, we're going to type on the music manager, audio source. My computer is freezing. There we go. Audio source equals get component audio source. And now this is how we do basically that same step through code. We're telling it, we're basically declaring the variable and saying, the audio source is this audio source attached to the music manager. Now, if we press play and we run it, there we go, we get music. Okay, so that's cool, that is working, and that is what a null reference exception error is, and that is how you can fix it as well. Now, one more thing I'll just mention here. If we go back into Unity and uh, actually, we'll, we'll just say here, first of all, we're gonna remove this, this game text from the uh, count manager, so it's going to throw this error back at us again. Now, if we go back into this line of code where it's not working for the count up, it, there might be some cases in a, a more advanced game where you know you're going to be assigning a value to a variable later, but there might be an instance where you try to use it before that value has been assigned. So in this case, we can just say if my text is not equal to null, then to basically do this step. So if we go back in here now and test this out and press count up, 
we can see it's still not going to do anything, but it's not throwing this error at us either. And like I said, this is useful if you know that at some later point you're going to be assigning a value, uh, but there might be some case where you're trying to use it, just a value hasn't been assigned yet. You know that's not a problem, but Unity sees it as a problem. So that's an easy way to get around that as well. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you found this useful. Please let me know if it was clear or if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching.